Uh, now, the um, Phillipstown Community Centre Charitable Trust and Wayne Hawker. Hi, Wayne. Welcome back. Yep. Different hat, different um, plan. Yeah, one of many hats. <laughs> yeah. So, good afternoon. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to our submission today. I am Wayne Hawker, a Foundation Trustee of the Phillipstown Community Centre Charitable Trust that has now been operational for 20 years. We started with a single community centre building on the Phillipstown Primary School grounds back in 1998 with an initial grant of $100,000 from the former Canterbury Community Trust and ongoing financial support from the City Council. During this time, we developed many programs to support the local community as a starting point, one in particular being our yearly festival where the people of Phillipstown come together. We mix, we meet over games, food and entertainment, all at no charge to the community, and we're grateful for the ongoing funding we get from our community board to allow this to happen, so that in every family and individual can participate. But we've also developed initiatives to support other wider communities of Christchurch. The most significant one to date being the graffiti program that is now controlled by this city council and adopted by many councils around the country. This is something we in Phillipstown are very proud of. In 2013, we joined with the Phillipstown School in their fight to retain the local school. And while history will show that eventually we lost the battle, they did this community proud in the professional manner they approached this. In 2014, we at the Trust were offered the opportunity to shift from a single building and take up tenancy in what is now the former primary school site. While disappointed at losing the school, we saw this as an opportunity to do something special for this community and surrounding areas. So we signed a licence to occupy with the Ministry of Education. This licence started as a 12-month lease with a follow-on month-by-month basic lease, but to which the Ministry of Education only has to give us three months notice to vacate. And we have not been sitting idly by during this time. In response to expressed local views and interest, we are developing our thriving Te Whare Whānau Whānui, the Phillipstown Community Hub. And that is going from strength to strength in both what we are delivering and also the way we are delivering it, not only for Phillipstown, but for the community and organisations across the city, particularly the eastern side of the city. As you can see from our submissions, we work with a wide and varying range of government and local agencies, along with many community groups in a very successful and newly developed structure of collaboration with a governance and management structure in place. We continue to work on ways of making this a long-term, sustainable, self-funded enterprise. The downside of all of this is the fear of the unknown as to how long we can stay on this site. We are aware the Ministry of Education are rebuilding Limwood College. Finished date is expected to be early 2021. At that time, the Technology Centre, which is currently on the site as well and being operated by the Limwood College, will relocate to the Limwood College site. Decisions will then be made around the site we currently occupy. We are aware of the rights of Naitahu under the Treaty of Waitangi Settlement some years ago and we will be speaking with them over coming months to see where they stand and what they can also offer us in ways to secure this site for the future. We're here today calling on the Council to include funding or other options in the LTP to secure this site and bring it into permanent Council ownership. This will enable our working with other agencies and communities in further developing this site as a one-stop shop for many different organisations and groups which supports so many needy families and individuals across the city. We see huge benefits for not only council, but the ratepayers and local communities across the city in securing this site. Given our location within close proximity to the new and developing CBD, we could be seen as another jewel in the crown of this city as we continue bringing life back to Christchurch. This site also offers the largest area of green space for the community of Phillipstown. Given the rising number of social housing developments within Phillipstown 
and the many issues that a high number of these tenants may face. This site offers a warm, friendly, supportive and inviting space they can come into. This enables them to connect with other people in sit similar situations without having to fend off stigma that is too often thrown at certain communities and people within it. We recognise that the Council gave full support when the Phillipstown School was fighting imminent closure and it was greatly appreciated by all of us that took to the fight to the Government of the day. Now this proud community is calling on you again to step up and support us as we have to fend off yet another possible break in the lifeline that makes Phillipstown as a community work. Equally important is the vital link we have developed and continue to develop and be in a supportive and giving community for Christchurch as a city. In terms of finance, we are not looking at a significant amount of money given the cost of other significant projects being developed within the LTP. Indeed, one option is to consult with state government and around possible land swap arrangements that could be beneficial to all parties. The particular nature and location of this site is fundamental to its success. There are no other options that could enable us to achieve so much so efficiently and cost effectively for so many. Our model, one that we believe could and should be replicated around the country, shows that when community has easy, welcoming and affordable access to a gambling space, communities thrive. As a community that has the resilience to fight adversity and whatever has been thrown at us over the years through Mother Nature, local and central government decisions, we just want a level of certainty. In the same way the sporting organisations wanted over the stadium proposal and metro sports facilities, and that which they now have, we want a place to call home and do what we do best, delivering for what and who matters the most, the elderly, families, children, people with health issues, other community organisations and our local community residents. Is that too much to ask for? We think not, and we hope you can all feel the same way as us. We are calling for a hand up, not a hand out, and know with certainty of occupation we can and we will deliver on what we do best, supporting those that matter. Thank you. I think if I took a vote round the table, everyone would uh, support me writing to the Minister of Education instantly and ask for um, financial, well, the, to, the transfer of the property. I mean, it makes absolute sense that it remains within the community. You've done a fantastic job down there. I remember when it was first established as a trust and um, what you've managed to develop on the site since the school closed, um, you know, it, it, it evidences the kind of community that Phillipstown is. So thank you for all your work. Um, did anyone? Yanni? Um, just a number of groups are now coming to us as a city asking for us to fund the acquisition of the old Ministry of Ed sites. And I just wondered in terms of Phillipstown in particular, given that the government was found to have acted wrongly and they've said sorry, whether it's actually better to ask for government to give that yeah, as that's what That's what I'm suggesting, yeah. yeah. Rather than us actually fund it. Well, like I say, if we can, if the government, but now that we have a new government, there is hope that they may just gift it to, you know, to the city for, and then we can further develop it. As we all know, the technology centre is still on there on half of the site. And once they go, that's when they'll start deciding. And at that point, we'll be saying, hey, well, actually, because what we want to do, we want to take over the whole site. And if we've got security, then another major project we would look at doing is seeking serious funding to build a purpose-built community hall that can be then, you know, that will actually add value to that site as well, because that's probably the one thing that's lacking in the community. While we've got the, as everyone knows, an old school classrooms and that, mm -hmm. a purpose-built community facility hall that can hold even major events. And like I say, it's okay. we're, we're just, there. Yeah. We're right there. There's other councillors around the table, Sarah. Thanks, Wayne. Um, I'm just thinking, in the meantime, while um, we would love it to be permanent and the government's timeframes, we're not clear on those at this point. We're advocating for a longer um, sort of turnaround. So currently it's every three months. Well, like, it's, um, we're, we're there until they say, no, we've now decided we've got other plans for the site. That's right. And at that time, they just give us 
It's a three three monthly turnaround. No, we're, oh, we're, we're, we're on a month by month, month basis. By month. But they yeah. when they tell us if they if they try and tell us we have to vacate, yeah. we only have three months to try and find somewhere else for you know we've yep. got currently Tier. twelve permanent user groups there, yeah. but we have fifty other community groups that utilise the facility on a weekly basis. I'm just wondering if it'd be useful for us to do a, like a two-step yeah. thing. Firstly, work yeah. to try and secure yeah. it, and also in the meantime, do like a two- or three-year security, year security of tenure would, would certainly tenure. help. Yeah. So look, thank you very much, Wayne. It's no much worries. appreciated. Um, yeah. Very powerful submission. Great work that you're doing there in yeah. Phillipstown. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um,